Hey everyone, it's Poltron, Jungler for the Dibbles here. Today I'll be reacting to some of my highlight plays from the first split. Phenomenal job of peeling from the chest to the right space at the right time, burning that flash. Out goes the arrow once again, but it gets immune. Beautiful work there by the Gwen. Good Zaranus as well here. They're, They're in the pit. This one down. They stole it. Stolen. Poltron's taken the Baron. And the objective can't be touched. Poltron might look here. Find oh, Violet. No, Violet is in trouble. Can it close the bottom is here? There's a headache. I remember He's hopped in the taxi. this moment in the game you when I was caught out of position and I'm like, alright guys, I'm dead, just, just go push mid. So I, I don't know why I did it, but I just clicked the hex gate, went through onto the other side of the map, <laughs> and I mean the rest is history, right? So we've all seen this clip probably 20, 30, 40 times. When I watched this clip back after my game, I was like, wow. I, I didn't think it was, you know, this long of a play. I thought I was just... In the moment, it felt like it was only 20 seconds, but... Jeez. Oh, yeah, right here. After I hexgated out and I nearly escaped, I thought, guys, I'm actually out. And then Key says in the mid lane of the Ari. And I think the comms were, oh, I'm dead again. But, yeah, I juked his charm, walked up to the other hexgate, made it out. And that was... <laughs> that was probably, obviously, obviously I'm a bit biased, but that's probably the best play of the split right there. We didn't win that game. We went 0-2 against Chiefs that series. It was honestly a disaster um, from our end, but, you know, I had a lot of fun traveling around the map. I remember, I think, the equi calmed after that. That was a bit of comedic relief. We needed that one. Job of peeling from, but Chaz in the right space at the right time, burning at that flash. This game was looking grim up to this point, where Chiefs opted in for the 50-50. Zaranus as well here. They're in the pit. Ooh! 11-60, smite by me. It really is momentum Can't 50 50 right now for against the Wolf Pack, now can they win the team fight? In they jump once again, now it's going to be the last one. Kill the bit at the end here. Knocking them all off and telling his team, run for the hill. And I thought this was actually the game winning steal. We went from not in a great position to getting the Baron. And then I think we won the the soul fight, or maybe it was the Elder fight, where Zerenus and the Cassante kind of kind of won behind the fight and won the game with that. Yes. Well, I'm less, I stun less, I stun less, I stun less, that's dead. Penta, Penta, I will die for it, go, 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 I have Q. Look around, look around. Go, 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 I'm attacking, go, get the Penta. This was Chaz's Penta on Aesol, or it should have been his Penta on Aesol. Decoy just said at the end, thanks for the leash. And no one can, end of the day, no matter what happened in this game or during the split, you heard my comms. I said I'd die for the Penta. Ultron, the best team player there is. The Feathers, they get ripped back and Appy is... Down. This fight no, was really forward. hectic We've in the moment, for sure. But flash you on your head. He's getting a little bit I think all the Dibbles were kill. one hit. But as a we got Zone for the Dragon. The managed to I mean, the get a quick no kill on Shurnfire. No and I was going to EQ out here, but I saw Violet greeting his base on the ward here, and I snuck up and the objective can't be right here, EQ, auto. auto, auto, auto. You can see me smile at the end there, because... Uh, you know, Violet and I were good mates. I had a chat to him the night before, and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'll be bot level two, level three, level four. You're not gonna be able to play your game, and yeah, taking him down there it was just a funny moment for me, at least. One of my personal goals would be to become the best jungler in LCO. And I'm not just talking about being perceived as the best. I want to be the best performing jungler on stage. That was something I've always wanted to do. And even split one, I tried to be the best. I don't think I was, uh, don't think I performed the best. I had a few good games here and there, but there were other junglers that in the end outperformed me. I want to be the difference maker in split two for Divals. I think if I step up my game and I become the most consistent jungler in the next split, Divals will win for sure. I'm very confident of that. Again, I think in Split 1, I actually had a few very good games. But I also had a few shocking games. And that consistency for me is something that I really need to improve on and fix up for the next Split.
another personal goal of mine would be to win the LCO entirely. It's something that I've always dreamt of doing, but I've never managed to come first place in playoffs and go overseas and play. Seeing Team Bliss make top two LCO in their first split, honestly was very surprising to me. I didn't think they had it in them. I didn't think they'd make top two. I thought it'd either be Chiefs, Diables and Pantanet, maybe Diables and Chiefs, maybe, you know, Pantanet, Chiefs making it, but seeing Bliss be the first seed from the LCO going over to PCS was impressive. Like props to their plays, to their coaching staff. They put in the work. They won them more than they won. What else can you say? They're good. They're a good team, good players individually, and they shocked everyone. And that is just something I'm thinking about adding into Split 2, basically. I'm like, okay, Bliss, we're first seed. Why can't we be? I'm playing with three veterans. They're all wonderful. They know how the scene works. They know how to win. And if I just fix my consistency issues and step up, I'm sure we can win as well. And it's something that really motivates me. I don't want to come third again. Thanks for watching. Please support us in Split 2. We really appreciate you. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my ad is PoltronLol. I'll definitely tweet more coming into the second split. And yeah, hopefully there'll be some bangers. Thank you.